I mean, she looks creepy, like a <laughs> like a her face. Looks scary. I was like, oh, she's gonna look goofy, but she does not. And welcome to another episode of Reboot Robots R&R Collectibles. Hello and welcome back. I'm Carlos Charlie Munguia, and I'm here to present you these DC bombshells by DC Collectibles. And this is a very, very awesome perspective of these superhero women it's just it's excellent i mean this is made this is made by uh, aunt lucia and what these are is if you haven't heard of bombshells yet they're pretty much these superheroes like in a vintage pinup perspective you know or like a re retro aspect like retro 1940s kind of like gives me like a sense of betty page you know you know what i'm saying so these it's a very cool art direction and even the comics my wife reads a lot of these and it's very interesting it's quite superb actually so once we saw we've seen this up for a pre-order online we pretty much we automatically got them because we figured hey this will be awesome so you can see the art deck on each one here and um, you can see we have all four we have uh, of course Wonder Woman she has a cool sticker right here Wonder Woman 75 years that's awesome it's like an anniversary <laughs> edition or something but it's pretty much the same as the rest and of course here you have a uh, bat woman right there and of course she carries a bat and she's a bat so wow you know it's <laughs> that's pretty deep right there so you have those two and I do love this one man when it's a poison ivy I mean she looks like Betty Page look how her hair is I think she looks very cool I do love the art direction on that you can see there DC bombshells poison ivy and you can see the rest right there which I have in front of me very awesome and of course the classic boom we have here Harley Quinn, so, and you see Aunt Lucia, and there's there's her in the back. And here's, if you look at each side, they're all from, you know, from the comic book. That's how they actually look like. So, this side here, you see Wonder Woman giving her a smile. We're sorry to show this, looks just like Betty Page, like I said before, that's freaking awesome. So, uh, for now, I'm going to do this very quick. I'm just going to open two of them due to time constraints. So, what, which ones I want to open are pretty much these two these are the ones that interest me the most so let's uh let's see what they're all about all right let's try uh poison ivy first there we go all right brand spanking new pretty much saying hey don't forget to buy these so uh yeah all right and here she is right out the box and you can see here that i love how the hair is pretty much very well sculpted and it doesn't really you know mess with the articulation much except when you want to look up so that's like very common though but other than that it's very well sculpted and also I noticed right off the bat except for the lingerie but I noticed right off the bat is that these arms are the elbows are double jointed and that's a one up from Marvel Legends because all of the women or the figures that have skinny skinny arms are only single jointed in Marvel Legends. These are double jointed, so I'm very surprised and actually very very happy to see that. Because I mean, once it's double jointed, there's more articulation. You could pose them in um, in different variety and ways. So that's a that's a one up for these compared to Marvel Legends. So that's that's excellent. That's very cool. But um, other than that, yes, I mean, you can see even the the art deck, the plants or the ivy on her arms. It's very well detailed too. So that's excellent very cool look at that it's like uh, it's more like it feels like a tattoo so that's even that's even awesome that's even better than the that's like an actual pinup and also you can see she's wearing uh, like a lingerie and it's very well sculpted as as well very well seen she has um of course thigh swivel uh double jointed knees right here they go all the way of course they go all the way back she has upper thigh swivel nice and also she's gonna be hard to stand up because she has high heels but she has a peg hole right there which I could set her on because usually when there's figures in high heels they're very hard to stand up but I have to make use of that peg peg hole though so very cool she's all obviously all green and she has ankle hinge right there not bad uh, no ankle pivot though which is fine I mean that'll, that'll work out so that's more like an upper waist swivel, never mind. So I thought she had like a swivel down here, but she does not. So she has a cool little rose right there. So let me think about that, huh? I do see like a, some sort of spot. Is that like, oh, on her neck, there's also a, like a, how do you say, like an ivy on her neck. So she has like, she's all tatted up from the neck to the arm. So that's awesome. This looks like a pretty, damn well good character I mean it's almost like a you know statue format if you see the face 
it's not that goofy it's not that you know that weird look like on the other on the recent other DC DC line so that's this is very very well done you can actually pose her and make her look like almost like a statue form so it looks just like the comic too the way her face is kind of depicted so very very cool and also let's check out some of her accessories now this looks like a, some sort of killer ivy which you could pretty much either wrap around her body and stuff so that gives it a pretty cool persona of the actual character so nice that's that's awesome it's good to have very signature of poison ivy and also what's very signature is this rose here and here's her hands her seductive hands i guess you could say you see now this is the perfect example what to put what type of accessories and also interchangeable hands you can see here how i wrap the ivy around her body how you know that usually how she usually does and how she cares and loves her plants like if they were her own children and you can see how i put the the hand of like you know caring for the plant and uh, you can see there so this is a perfect perfect mix of accessories with this character so that's it's awesome i mean it's she definitely you could pose her on the shelf and she'll definitely catch anybody's attention not for the lingerie but just for the figure itself so that's very good well done all right now next here's the most iconic wonder woman and i love her art direction she looks just like a pinup i mean like one of the best so and you can see here she has the wonder woman 75 year anniversary sticker i guess that's what that is and of course like i showed you before her art direction and also the rest of the crew so let me uh let me open her up oh, oh, here. nice okay and here's wonder woman straight out the box and she's well sculpted you can see here and you can see the signature gear that she has on she even has her, her, her bracers right there look at that and also she has double jointed elbows which is awesome upper bicep swivel too not bad also has that hair i mean this is like the signature pose right when she's like smiling doing this and breaking the chain right in the middle of her awesome epic pose and you can see here she has an upper she doesn't have an upper thigh swivel unless she's just oh she does yeah she does i just that was a little stuck right there but she does also i love the colors and the paint apps i mean they're pretty they're pretty clean aren't they look at that right there a little bit of smudge right there but not bad have to agree pretty pretty cool she also has her lasso of truth right there it doesn't come off but it feels um flimsy which is fine because it's supposed to be like a like her magical rope but i mean you can't take it off or use it but it looks good on her right there so not bad and um let's see look at her headband right there awesome signature headband very cool i thought her face was going to look more goofy like a hey face or something like that because if you look in the back of the box right here i was kind of afraid this is how how they advertise this character you can see right here i mean she looks creepy like a like a her face looks scary i was like oh this is gonna look goofy but she does not look at that that looks very good so i was afraid of that i don't know if they fixed it last moment and they saw that but very cool i do love her hairstyle like like you know betty page very freaking awesome so um yeah look at that she has an upper upper thigh swivel and uh she has an app crunch, you can see there, the actual app crunch right there, so not bad. She can do the swivel, very, but they're tight joints. And um, let's see, what else she has? She has a uh, ankle hinge right there, but no ankle pivot. And actually, I take that back, this thing does have an ankle pivot, you can see right there. It's just that the pain application made it stuck a bit, so had to wiggle it around a bit but yeah so she does but the downfall of that is she has high heels and they're very hard to stand but once again they have a peg hole so we could use that but i mean at least it has an ankle pivot so that's pretty cool and if i didn't say it already she has double jointed knees right there so you could you know some extra pose abilities so i can make her fly i guess but not bad let's check out some of her accessories she comes with a signature ball and chain with the cinder block and this is i think what she breaks apart and you can see here you can actually take this apart they have little peg holes in there and you can put this back in so you can make her give her that you know that break in the chain uh action or feeling so we'll do that in just a second and also her signature wrench you can see there it's actually very well painted too you can see the metallic paint on that and also the kind of the black wash on there so pretty cool i mean if they wanted to go the extra mile they could actually have this uh how do you say adjust itself but that'd be too much why would they want to do that but anyways very cool and also she has interchangeable hands four of them awesome and you can see it has like ones that clench or hold the wrench or even uh hold something else or even the chain but we're gonna double check that let's see if i could uh 
Poser with her other accessory. And there she is, breaking the chain like depicted from the comic book cover. Well, not 100% depicted, but I think the composer better later. But you can see how um, accessories kind of go with the character. So that's that's pretty awesome. I do love this. So it just creates a lot of uh, possibilities to you know to pose them as your you know favorite cover art or anything from the comic book. So excellent. Good job, DC. Love it. And there they both are. So I really like these two figures, and I think they're well worth it. But uh, what do you think? What do you like, or what don't you like about these figures? Please leave your comments and the questions below. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you very soon. Peace.